Hi guys! Welcome to Hello. a weird kind of thing here with Jarv. We're talking, because that's what we do, right? Apparently so. Hello, my name is Jarv, or Marvelous Jarvis, or that Marvelous Jarvis art guy, or... Douchebag. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, welcome to whatever we're calling this abomination of a podcast. Yeah, I, you know, I. it should be the Kingly Podcast. It should not be the Kingly Podcast, because I'm in it as well. It should be the Marvelous Podcast. What about the Marvelous King Podcast? That, that makes you sound like you're a Marvelous King. I am a Marvelous King. You're, you're hardly a Marvelous... Okay, how about we call it? Uh, Bullet Marvelous. The Marvelous uh, Bullet. Marvelous Bullet. The Marvelous Bullet Podcast. We got it. Nailed it in one. And well, it I took mean, us hey, a minute. Yeah, it's a new record. Even though I feel like by the end of it, we're not going to call it the Marvelous Bullet Podcast. No, it's probably going to be called something completely different. Anyway, <laughs> hey, welcome to the, the name we just said. The, the King Jarve Show. No, King Jarve Show. It shouldn't be Jarve King Show. Yeah, the Jarve King Show. Wait, no, that yeah. means you're first, and that sound, makes you sound more important. Well, I am more important. That, I wouldn't go that far. I, I mean, I would. I'm, I'm going that far. I'm, I've walked over to this location of how far it is and gone, it's the, it's the Jarve King podcast. Mm -hmm. Brought to you by Jarve and King. Whatever. We'll, we'll, we'll figure out the name post-process. <laughs> okay, post-production is going to... Future we'll Us is going to hate us because we're just going to sit here for like 20 minutes trying to argue over a name. Yeah, hello future me, suck stone it. A hello future audience, double suck stone it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I have no idea how horrible these are gonna go. We literally just thought of making this kind of content while it was, it was like one o'clock in the morning for me. I was like, hey, let's do a podcast. It's probably like three a.m. or no, like one o'clock. Yeah, six a.m. for me. So I was just finishing up work. And then it's like, hey, we should probably do a podcast. I was like, okay, yeah, that sounds like an easy way to make content. It's not, apparently. Right. Yeah, what, yeah, no. What is... No, yeah, today's topic. Uh, content creation. Just yeah. Just how, how things have changed. I mean, you've been in content creation for a lot longer than I have. Ooh, okay, so I started when I was 15, so 14 years of content creation. Uh, okay streaming in like youtube videos and stuff 14 years of content creation on youtube but there, there's not been 14 <laughs> actual I'm breaking down and making videos and the videos were actually of decent quality 14 years of making videos on youtube how do you think i got into university uh you applied it was because of my youtube videos to be fair i failed all my grades and it was the only way i could get in I used to do sprite animations, so very early stop flash animations as well. So I've, it's, it's, it's been a, a roller coaster of uh, several different YouTube channels that I've just completely left to the wayside because I was like, this isn't me anymore. This is just cringe. This is all cringe. This is all cringe. Yeah, you know, I, I've pulled up your old channel before, and like your your intro video that kind of shows up you don't look anything like when you yeah. first started it like that was when i after i finished uni that youtube channel you're probably thinking of yeah it's like yeah. oh my god what, what was it let me let me see if i can find it here it's like marvelous plays or something like that oh well, that's not that's still my no. current one that's not my old youtube channel or or is it just regular marvelous jarvis uh no the, my original one is actually elliot jarvis no it's not my original one that's my second one my original channel, I have no idea. That's lost to time, as I said. Elliot Jarvis has three subscribers. Or is it the one with the weird, like, crazy thing? No, I don't think that's you. No, no, it's probably the one with three subscribers. Pretty dead to the wayside, to be fair. Yeah, yeah, I, I can tell. Usually, like, if you if you go onto YouTube and search any of us... Yeah, it's the Elliot Jarvis with three subscribers. With the, like, brown background? You got a whole one video? No. Uh, no, it's the one with 34 videos and 3 subscribers. Oh god, I didn't even see that one. Uh, let me link it to you. Very, 
very old content creation right here. My god. Boom, boom, visuals. Oh my yeah. god. What on yeah. earth were you? Like, Jesus Christ, eight years ago. Yeah, I told you, I've been around for a while, and this is the second YouTube channel I had. Oh my god, action short in 01, nine years ago. Jeez. Oh wow, Thank make me feel old now. Oh, I'm making you feel old, man. Oh, uh, oh, I... Okay, so your more successful YouTube now. career. Now. In, yes, in I spent a lot of time learning the different ways of YouTubing it up. <laughs> yeah, oh. Oh, oh, here we go. Marvelous Jarvis Productions. Yes, how how old my... was that one? This is still pretty old Marvelous Jarvis Productions. Like, if you go back to my earliest videos, it's a few years. Um, yeah, three years, four years, five years ago. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and this is the current one. I've had this current channel for five years. I mean, you don't really up... Oh, I guess you do update it a little bit. Oh, no, there, there, there's a lot of videos coming out now. It's, it's had, like, hit and miss and stuff before. This yeah. used to be my only channel, and then I started making a lot of gaming content, and I went, I should probably just have my own gaming channel. Yeah, because um, Marvelous Jarvis Gaming, you have 216 subscribers. And you yeah, because I, um, when I first started streaming, it was on YouTube was when I found the success, so a lot of those are actually just subscribers from the streams. Gotcha. Um, but yeah, content creation, it's, uh... It's changed over the years. You, you can, yeah, um, mainly due to algorithms changes and um, what viewers want anymore. Um, I remember back in the day, it was more likely you could make it as an animator, but ever since YouTube wanted more regular videos, being an animator, you, you know, you it, it takes a while to make something. Yeah. It, it's all about how many views you've got in a video, and that's that's what they were looking for was, oh, you've got millions of views. In the video, a lot of retention. Which even when retention, it was just the amount of views you got. But then people started abusing it. And then it no longer was about that. And then it became about how much you can upload, how many videos you got. And now it's about retention. So that's why people generally do 10 minute videos. It's just the more just people easier. stay on, the more YouTube will promote the video. Yeah. So, it, uh, and it changed like just the content wise changed so much i i remember yes. i've been i've been in content creation for two years now and even in those two years it's just been absolutely insane to see the the change you know yes. yeah and what people consume what people are looking for I mean, <sighs> god when i first got into it let's plays were the big thing everybody wanted to see let's plays because they were hilarious and funny now all people want is battle royale battle royale battle royale yeah like, that that yeah it's it's become more of whatever it's people following the trends i remember when let's plays were big for a while uh we're talking about when markiplier pewdiepie started all that and it was just it was big i mean they're was, still big and I, I yeah, think if they big, would... But it was back in the day where it was like you could literally sit down and record six hours, just sit down there for six hours, and you've made like 16 episodes, and you just upload them, and then people were just watching it. Yeah. Um, now it's become more... You need to have more high production value almost. It's no longer about having half an hour videos. They want it roughly around 10 minutes to 15 minutes, something like that. Well, I, I think what's and... hilarious is like, if you think about it, YouTube originally had in place where you couldn't upload anything over 15 minutes. It, it yes. was too big. And then it was like, okay, well, people want to upload bigger videos. Let's upload bigger videos. And now that's when you started seeing half hour hour long let's plays mm. and now it's remember, like people don't want to see it anymore i remember the days where uh it was a privilege to upload a video in hd yeah and it would, and it would take like half an hour to load a hd video and now we've got them in 4k yeah i know it's crazy now for streaming because yes. we've talked about a about a lot of youtube but streaming We've streaming. We've both yeah. been on all the big platforms: YouTube, Twitch, Mixer. Uh, you went on D Live for like a week. 
Oh my god, I left D Live as soon as I started looking into them a little bit deeper. Like now, I remember the whole reason why I left YouTube was of the the first major denormatizing wave where it was almost like a cull. Um, if originally when I I started the YouTube channel Marvelous Jarvis Productions, um, it didn't matter how many subscribers you had you could instantly monetize your videos and then all of a sudden they had a a limit of you have to be on the platform for a certain amount of time and then a year later they went no 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 you need to have this many of subscribers to start monetizing your videos and then i was like okay i i should probably look somewhere else for the streaming then yeah which is why we should go to twitch yeah, and then, <laughs> what what was it? You found me, I was playing Star Wars Battlefront, and TJ uh, found me, and he was like, dude, you gotta go check this guy out. Yeah, I think I was finishing up a stream, and he was like, Ugh. so basically on my YouTube days for streaming, I mainly played Halo 5. I don't know why, I had Halo 5 on my Xbox, and I was like, I might as well play it, I might as well stream it. That's when I found success. With people like watching me play Halo 5, and I sucked at Halo. I still suck at Halo 5. I mean, I don't, yeah, I don't particularly really like the game. It's an okay game, but I don't know. I had to keep playing it because people would watch it. But yeah, no, this guy came over and was like, "Hey, you should check out this guy called King Bullet." I was like, oh, "Okay, okay, I'll check out his YouTube channel." And I saw you in a Chewbacca onesie. I still have that room. onesie, by the yeah, way. <laughs> hate you too. It was hilarious man that was like um, the staple of my channel too like so many was, people like, loved it front. i don't like the game i'm gonna be honest i don't really like dice's battlefront series but i was like i like this guy he seems pretty chill uh, well and you were like like the first person i brought merch from which was surprising because it was from fist no what, what are you doing vista print uh, you actually yeah. you had to send it to me and then i sent it out to you because i didn't have merch room at the time i had vista print yeah. and i had yeah so it was like, but I <laughs> mean, it, it was so sketchy, but I, I delivered. I mean, uh, you did. I, I literally was like, oh, if I don't get this money, I'm just going to never, never talk to this guy again and move on with my life. And then all of a sudden I was like, oh, I did actually get it. Oh, this guy's legit. Yeah, I mean, when I when I was starting out, oh, my God, it was so bad. It was so, so, so bad. I didn't have anything organized. And... Yeah, because I'm pretty imagine you went in the deep end and just didn't know what you were doing. For me, I've, I've been doing content creation for a while, and I actually brought a capture card and all my equipment, not to stream, but to record Let's Plays. And yeah, then I realized I could probably just stream with all this stuff. So I had some idea. I had some equipment. But you had to get everything off scratch, and I yeah, remember you setting up. Yeah, yeah. I started literally from nothing. Like I had no connections into the content creation world at all. So, I, still don't. I mean, uh, you got me now. I, I I'm semi successful on Mixer, I guess. Uh, yeah. It was. It's more like I just wanted to do my own thing. I wasn't really like networking is key, and that's always been key. You, but you at the end of the day, it sucks because anytime you network, people just want to use you. Yeah, that's the, the, yeah, that's that's always the issue of like you having to. But then I generally say network with people and hang out with people that you would want to hang out with anyway. I like a lot of there's like this whole thing with auto host where people are just auto hosting the big streamers, hoping to get a shout out or something, and. That's not really networking, just going in, following, and then they go, oh, hey, or hosting them, and then they go, oh, hey, thanks for the host, blah, 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 get your shout out, and then leave. That's that's not really networking. It's more about you want to hang around with people that have similar interests or you feel like you can get along with, and then that way you build a community with them. But also, as we've discussed in private, the downside of like doing all that is you're now sharing an audience. Yeah. And then when you're both streaming, it's split. <laughs> it's it literally, and they will go towards their favorite. Again, it's people. It, it the thing is, it's also the content you're providing. Um, 
you mainly do video games. You've yeah. now started to do creative stuff, which yeah. is great. Yeah, I've started but... creative, and I, I'm actually enjoying it a lot more than I thought I was going to. It's more relaxed. You, you, you're, you're not having to worry about reacting to the game. You're actually creating the moment, as it were. You're not reacting as such. But you, the I, since he focuses more on games, some of the audience members we have they, they mainly like the want us to play creative. Yeah, relaxing creative, and some of them really like to play the, the video games. And you have an audience of people who only watch you when you play a video game, or only watch you when you do your art stuff. And then you have the core who will just go to watch you because you You're did it. Just live. Yeah, they like you, yeah. and they, they want to support you no matter what. Which is the audience you want because. Uh, as we're going I've, to discuss. I've seen so many streamers and content creators. Like, I, I don't want to give any names, but I saw someone who had 30,000 plus followers on Mixer. And he averaged, like, I want to say 70 some concurrent viewers every stream. But he was streaming Fortnite. He said, I'm not playing Fortnite anymore. His channel died. He couldn't even get, like, five or six uh, followers and which is a great segue of what I was going to talk about is the battle royale stuff, the Fortnite's playing, following the popular games because we used to do that. We uh, used to. We got away we, from it though. I, I think we cut it. The problem is when you grow with those big games, you are going to get the numbers. You're you're going to get. You know, if you I've I've done it. Follow uh followers can play and stuff like that. You you're going to get. The increase, but your audience isn't stable. They're, they're only literally there for that for game. Fortnite. And I've noticed that, you know, every time I gain a couple of followers, I'm losing followers because the old school lot are saying that I don't do that anymore and are now unfollowing because that's not my content. Yeah, it, it always kills me. Like, I, I see it. I mean, you, you see, I, I pay attention to my numbers and stuff like that. It kills me. I'll just have a relaxing day and I'll have negative followers because. I can only imagine after 11,200 follows, there's people who eventually go and they're like, oh man, this dude still does stuff? Wow, he's not playing this game? Okay, get rid of him. Yeah, pretty much people. And, it, and I remember the segue cut of us stopping that or me stopping it personally or no longer doing it and I'm playing other video games and it's like, I don't like this video game. Yeah. It sucks for you. I'm enjoying it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a bad video game. Go play this. The graphics suck. This is this is PlayStation One game. Okay, this is chill, slow down there, kiddo. Oh, well, I still get it all the time. Like, hey, you should play Fortnite. It's like, no, I'm not gonna play Fortnite. Like, no, no, no. just if no. if you want to see Fortnite, go to a Fortnite channel. This, yeah, and there's just, plenty of them. That's yeah. That's I mean, it's you'll mixer. never. I, I mean. Even in YouTube and Twitch, like there's thousands of Fortnite channels. Let's let's go look at Twitch now, cause I can and see. All right, I'll pull up Mixer then. Twitch has eighty nine point three k for our viewers in the Fortnite section. Uh, Mixer has fifteen k Fortnite viewers, and twelve twelve thousand of them are watching Ninja. Ah, of course. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I mean. Yeah, it's, it is what it is, um, content creation wise on streaming, um, most of the time, most of the popular stuff, even on Twitch, it's, it's all video games except for this just chatting section, yeah. Yeah. which, um, as you know, Twitch has a lot of big streamers who are in the just chatting category. Oh yeah, there's a lot of it is just yeah. chatting. I'm I'm yeah. doing quotes that, since you that, can't see me. Yeah, we'll just leave it at that. Um Yeet Okay, that's all I'm gonna say. Okay, we could, we could. <laughs> I, I'm controlling it. I don't wanna uh, uh, L I, <laughs> listen, I have nothing against Twitch streamers by any means, and a lot of people are like, Oh my god, you're a partner on Mixer, do you just hate Twitch? I'm like, N I don't like the platform because I don't like how they don't enforce a lot of their TOS, and I don't yeah. like their TOS in the first place. Yeah, it, but yeah. like the streamers themselves, they're just like you and me, we have fun, and I, I hang out in some streamers' streams over on Twitch. Oh, yeah, I you mean, a the, the few of my favorite streamers are on Twitch, and I I have streamers on Mixer, so it again it boils down to your core audience are gonna follow you no matter what. Yeah, and, yeah. 
and I don't know, like, at the end of the day, when when it comes to content creation, and, and we said we were going to try to keep this to, like, 15, 20 minutes, we're at 24 minutes now, so good job us. You know, pat on the oh, back. <laughs> we we suck so oh, bad. Oh, we fail. This is so bad. We could apologize, but yeah, we all right. We we gotta make a completely separate apology video just specifically for this video. Now you know oh, that, right? Th God, that's, that's gonna be like that's gonna be two hours long. Yeah, that that's the thing. Like you you mess up. You say you're gonna do something and then you mess up. You gotta make an apology video. Like that's just how. I need I need a dog. You, you've got cats, I need an animal, and I need to do a massive long sigh at the beginning of the apology video. That's, that's standard. Yeah. I, I, We're getting sidetracked. We're getting sidetracked. <laughs> uh, content Why creation. is Yes. It's changed way too much. Like, I know things are always ever-changing and everything, but, you know, I, I think a lot of people are following the bandwagon. The yeah. yeah they, people follow trends, and then... You get popular in a trend, and then you don't adapt to that trend, and you just get left behind. And, and but then it, the whole point, really, is you want a core audience. You you want an audience that is going to follow you on any platform, and that may be like six or seven people, and you're just going to fill it up with people who are following your trend. I guess. Yeah. I mean, that's that's one thing you always see. There, there's always hate. Oh my God, you're switching from Twitch to Mixer. Oh, you're switching from Mixer to Twitch. Like, you, they're yeah, gonna do much. what's best for them brand, you know. And then it's also about where the audience is. And in Mixer is growing. But don't get me wrong, it's growing, but it's Twitch still is gonna be the bigger platform. But then again, just because it's the bigger platform doesn't mean you're going to get exposed. Better. automatically yeah i mean you're not gonna get their exposure even on mixer just because you sit there and stream for 12 hours a day every single day doesn't mean you're gonna get to 10k followers because content consumption on the streaming platforms is a lot longer you're like you will sit there and watch a stream for three hours but on youtube you watch you've a 15 probably, 20 like, minute six video. videos by then and you probably go on to like three different channels yeah yeah, and I think that's where a lot of the problems lie. Like, it you can stream for as long as you want, and people prefer longer streams, and they like streams because it's more face to face interactive. But when it comes down to like fitting into growth. their day, the fitting into the day that people want, people want something that they can just pull up on YouTube real quick. Oh, hey, look, this is a twenty minute video. Let's watch this real quick while oh, I make dinner or something. Or apparently 27 minutes at the moment. But yeah. I, I feel like we should wrap this one up. Because if we don't wrap it up. I, we're just going to continue talking. And yeah, it'll just probably be horrible. Gonna, probably do a part two on this at some point as well. Aren't we? But yeah. yeah. We'll we'll revisit it in the future maybe. Or yeah, something. We'll, I don't we'll know. explore some more of the. I didn't realize how long and elongated this topic was going to be. But. We're also hey, long winded. You, yes. I mean you do have a big mouth. Oh, fuck you buddy. <laughs> Look who's talking. Hey. hey guys, thanks for watching. <laughs> subscribe to my channels. All the links are in the video description down below, as well as subscribe to King Bullet. Uh yeah, and you know, thank you, Jar, for joining me. Uh make sure thank you. you guys hit that sub button, ring the bell, make it Oh yeah, the, and the and the likes or the dislikes and leave a comment on Yeah. Why yeah. the fuck was this so long winded? Yeah. God damn yeah. it. Give me a thumbs up and a jar of thumbs down because that's just how it works. No, no, don't fucking do. <sighs> hey, just... The more dislike Jarvs gets on this video, the better. As long as I get the likes in return. No, no, no. Okay, just we're gonna end it there. Okay. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye, guys.